Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative, LTG GT. Please make Sunrise Daily TV your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our updates on all the social media platforms below on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beg with Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates. Please listen to this announcement. Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative LTD GTE presents Official opening of Sunrise Daily TV head office. Time 2 p.m. Thursday, 13th June 2024. Office begins operations immediately after opening. Head office at 112 MCC Road, Amawaya, Oweri, Imo State. Yes, yeah, this is an announcement from Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative LTD GTE. If you want to place your advert, you want Sunrise Daily to cover your event, please do well to call or WhatsApp us with this phone number 081-267-41816, 081-267-41816. If you have any reports that you feel Sunrise Daily should make it public, please do well to message us on WhatsApp, contact us and available admin will attend to you welcome back to sunrise daily tv you guys can remember uh where one senator goes with like Pablo, that is the senior president goes with like Pablo, had issues conflicting issues with northern senators at the National Assembly over open grazing bill, over anti open grazing bill that was uh, submitted or sponsored by a Benue State senator. During the debate, Akbabio hinted that cows are not citizens and should not be allowed to move anyhow the the like of course fulani cattle breeders have caused a lot of havoc in the in the nigerian state especially in the south east south south and the middle belt area instead of to focus on rearing their cows they go about destroying crops fighting, attacking farmers, attacking villages, kidnapping and raping the women. This happened recently in Enugu state where they invaded and killed villagers. Discussed just a few weeks ago and today it has reached uh, the second reading. I think we must be commended. This issue, I believe, if we handle it with all the seriousness that is deserved, we will begin to see respite in the farmers' headers' clashes. But, uh, distinguished Senate President, please, we should expand the role of the Commission, not only as at establishing ranches, there is need for extension services. There is need for bringing better breeds of cattle. An average cattle of a pastoral Fulani man gives you less than one liter of milk a day. As against 30 liters of the hybrid uh, cattle. And uh, this must be taken into consideration if we are going to make it a source of livelihood. Because as it is today, it's just a way of life, not necessarily livelihood for these people. So we, this is highly commendable, sir. 
and uh, we need to emphasize apart what are the conditions that will give private ranching also the help they needed to go ahead. As you know, everybody is trying to run away from government funded uh, companies because they are not always being very well managed. We need to consider a way and manner for which private ranchers will be access to this commission and they will be get their necessary help for them to expand and establish ranches. Thank you very much, the Senate President. This is a wonderful bill. I hope we live. The Senate President, I'm from Kogi State, people of Kogi West. I am son of uh, North Central. I do something similar to this in a motion, where we call for a national summit. We all know that this is a national problem. It is not a, just a state problem. It's a problem that is ravaging all over our nation. And we cannot just sit down as responsible parliamentarians without finding a solution to it. Thank you for your able leadership, sir. First of all, in the north, we used to have a cattle road with open grazing those days. Those cattle roads, they have been taken over by, by communities. And now, no cattle roads. The cattle, they are all over the place. You will even see them on Abuja Street. You see them all over the place. They enter people's land, farmland and causing problems all over the country. This bill must be allowed to have its place. We are going to consider this bill appropriately. It's not all states must be ready to have cattle ranch. You know the last government, they set up something that they called Rugad. And they gave, some states said they, they wouldn't go with it. And uh, they rejected it. But when this bill is passed into law, by the time we are doing the public hearing, sir, we are going to, in fact, take orders all over the country to ensure that we treat this issue as a national problem. So that's all these killings going on all over the place in the name of cattle ranching, in the name of uh, kidnapping, we are going to find a sol solution to it. We cannot continue like this. This is a responsible government. Uh, this government has started well. Previous government, they've not been able to find a solution to it. I believe the leadership of National Assembly, headed by you, and the leadership of this country, headed by Asiwa Jubala Ametinubu, we find a solution to this problem. We are going to start with this bill. And we are going to pass it into law by God's grace. Thank you. Well, the, the, the major must have a public hearing. We must bring in all the stakeholders, the Farmers Association, the Mitiala, and then we must bring in the state governments and all the stakeholders so that everybody will have a say. And we must have a holistic discussion on this. And then also, like Senator uh, 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 the Senator Baribe pointed out, if they need to think up with any, any the Constitution in terms of the Land Use Act, which is in the Constitution, to enable us to uh, create a clause that will allow easy access to land for ranching, we should do so. And then we should also know that many people may not have money to go into ranching. And, um, and it's something that we should do gradually. But whatever it is, when we go into the major issue of, uh, of uh, discussing it at the public hearing, we'll get, to the, we'll, we'll get more information and, and get stakeholders' opinions. The same is Senator Goja. Thank you, Mr. Farmers Harders Clash. 
is an national issue. And this bill happens to come from a senator from Bino State. Bino State is one of the states that we had series of clashes and hostilities regarding the farmers' uh, harvest issue. But I want to urge our colleagues and Nigerians generally to approach this issue of cattle ranching in good faith. It should not be seen as an issue that's going to be thrown away to some particular states because the full lines happen to come from those states. Because in the, last, in the debate, the submission of the promoter of this bill, he, says, he said that uh, the ranches can only be made from, uh, from the states where the owners, of the, uh, owners of the cows come from. I know what he's trying to do. We can't do it that way. Well, all these Fulanese are Nigerians. They don't even benefit anything most of the, from government. They don't enjoy schools. They don't enjoy hospitals. They don't enjoy any roads. All the housing programs done by government, and they don't enjoy them, nothing. So to just throw them away like that because they happen to come from maybe some, they are assumed to have come from states that may not have even enough water, enough uh, grazing area. And you say you, you can only be done from in that state. I think it's not going to work. If we want to solve this problem, which is a national issue, we should approach it with open mind. Where you have enough land, enough grazing, where you have land that can serve as cattle ranch with water and uh, enough uh, grasses and other food for the animals, we should be magnanimous enough and realistic enough to encourage and, in fact, support the establishment of ranches in those areas. But to confine them to one area is not so, it will not solve the problem. So, we must, so what I said, we must approach this matter with good faith. But to say, because I know if you say that uh, you only want to do it in, in, in areas, maybe there are very few states in Nigeria that are willing that 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 that, 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 that can claim to have come. But they are Nigerians. So, of course, if you go to Oyo State or even Ogun State or even Abia, you get Fulanis who speak Igbos, Fulanis who speak Yorubas, who don't do anywhere outside those areas. What do you, t what do you tell them? Because they are not indigenous in that place, they, they don't deserve any rights in that place? No, I disagree. So please, my colleagues and Nigerians, if you want to solve this problem, we should solve it uh, frontally. Secondly, some weeks ago, we discussed this issue, a similar issue like this, and we even set up an ad hoc committee to come up with recommendations on the establishment of grazing areas. I think this being the case, we need to take a position either to harmonize these two issues so that we don't have to continue dis discussing, discussing. Let's do it once and for all. Well, the the, the, the ad hoc committee and this issue we are discussing, I believe in my opinion, should be harmonized so that we solve this problem once and for all. Thank you, Mr. President. Law. It has to apply nationally. Uh, for instance, if you go between Omaya and Enugu on that route, you will see a large population of, uh, of uh, uh, pastoralists. They have a place there where people come to buy cows and all that. The meat is needed by the whole country. So establishing ranches cannot be limited to a section as if they are the ones that eat the meat alone. We, if we are trying to solve a problem, we must look at it holistically, and the whole country must be involved. We, uh, that is where we come in in terms of lawmaking, so that we make it almost mandatory for every state to have one. So we can, we can, we, we can do that when it is time for us to look at the nitty gritty, so that it's not something you push to a particular area. Because everybody needs this meat. Senator Kau. Constitution of point of order. Okay. Constitution of point of order. 41. With your permission, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I read. Section. Section 41. Every citizen of Nigeria is entitled to move freely 
throughout Nigeria and to reside in any part thereof. And no citizen of Nigeria shall be expelled from Nigeria or refuse entry there to or exit therefrom. Two? Subsection 2. Nothing in subsection 1 of this section shall invalidate in any law that is reasonably justifiable in a democratic society. C. Oh, sorry, A, 2A. Imposing restrictions on, resi on residence or movement of any person who has committed or is reasonably suspected to have committed a criminal offense in order to prevent him from leaving Nigeria or providing for the removal of any person from Nigeria to any other country. Mr. President, I raise this point of order simply because of what Senator Zam has stated in the bill, which is contrary to the provisions of Section 41 of this Constitution. He says the bill proposes that ranches be established in posturally states, in posturally state of origin, without forcing it upon other states or communities that do not have pastoralist uh, citizens. Mr. President, uh, your point of order is section of the Constitution very well. Mr. President, I it want is, to make a point, it, please. No, I want Allow to, me to make a point, please. You are going let, to, me, let, me, let, me, let me make a point before you can rule. I am interpreting the section for you. Yes. The section refers to every citizen. Yes. Uh, cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Ah. So, M Mr. Uh, President, uh, cows are you, not citizens of Nigeria. But you you the didn't hear what I said. Senator Nehru, are you arguing with me? No. I, I said cows I, I, are not citizens. Are the section, citizens of Nigeria, the section you are referring to is talking about citizens of Nigeria. Yes. And cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Uh, but cows about can come from Niger. They can come from no, Chad no, no, anywhere. No, no, no. But cows Mr. are not citizens. Getting it wrong. So the, post, 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 the, the, the your, citizens your of point Nigeria. of order is noted, but rejected. You want to make contribution on the debate? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. But I'm against the idea of restricting movement of Nigerians from one state to another. No, that, that, would, that would not happen. Right now, right now, citizens of Nigeria are allowed to move from one state to another to establish business without any hindrance whatsoever. It affects everywhere in Nigeria. It, that, it, yes. Nobody I, can I, restrict I, I, movement. But citizens of Nigeria, they can move to North Central, North West, uh, North East, South, South, and establish their business without they can, they can do so, but not with AK-47. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not talking about criminals. You don't understand. I'm, yes. the, the thing. Uh, uh, yeah. no, I'm saying that we are going to delete that, uh, that particular uh, uh, portion yes. that says, uh, that brings about restriction. So, and I, I, I want to refer that to Senator Sam. He has to re re delete that part. So, let, uh, let's not deviate from the debate. Okay, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me conclude my let, let me conclude my contribution. Let me conclude, please. Should be seen as a private business. Government has no business going into renting. Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chibese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative. LTG 
GT. This makes our identity be your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our update on all the social media platforms we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beg with Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates.